I want to tell us you are not here by mistake. You are here because God planned it. There is something I want to tell us. There is going to be a visitation. And this visitation from the Almighty God it is coming because you are here. And you are listening to this message. And my prayer is as you come out of this place you will not come up empty. You will come out of this place loaded in the name of Jesus. Amen. I want to appreciate each and every one of you. Uh, even we have been, it has been a season of praying and fasting. Those who have been fasting online together with us, here in the church, may the Lord bless you. May the Lord grace you. I know you have taken time. And because you took time, that visitation is yours. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. I want to thank God. Last year, I had gone for prayers. If you can remember, I went for, I think, for a month or so. And I was not in church. And God gave me a message. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. And this message, it was for this year. And it's the theme. And also when I was praying uh, in December, in the last days I had time also to pray, he still confirmed that. That 2023 is a year of divine encounter with God. Divine encounter Upatana wa kiungu with the God. Na mungu. Our guiding verse is Job chapter 42 Ni ayubu and verse 5. Mustari watana. That is our guiding verse throughout this year. Yondyo, uh, Nikola Kutongoza Mwaka. The Bible says, Blina Sema, My ears Maskio yangu had heard of you. Yamekuskia. This is Job. He is saying, Anasema, My ears had heard about your testimony. We have heard about how you deliver the people. I have heard what you have done. Hallelujah. Amen. But he says, Anasema, But now, sasa, not last year, not another testimony, sio but bugine. now, sasa, my eyes have seen you. You are going to see God mungu beginning now sasa. in the name of Jesus. Jina la Yesu. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. Can you say after me? Sema, Hallelujah. Amen. I have been hearing I have been hearing other testimonies. Other testimonies. I've been hearing other testimonies. But now, now it's my season. It's my season to receive to receive what is mine. What is mine to receive to receive a testimony. A testimony. Look at me properly. Look at me properly. Tell your neighbor. Look at me properly. Look at me properly. Before the end of the year. You, I will testify. testify and before I testify before you will see a testimony in my life by the grace of God it is done it is done it is done in the name of Jesus it is done in Jesus name Amen. praise the name of the living God Amen um, so at this very particular time Wakati who, uh, want us to pray in the name of Jesus. Jina la Yesu. I want to share with us nasi, a message that God has put in my heart. Mungu mwangu. The message is ni, a cry kilio, of divine encounter. Cha upatano wa kiungu. A cry, kilio, a deep cry, kilio cha kiundani, for divine encounter. Cha upatano wa kiungu. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. As I have been telling you, 
divine encounter is a supernatural experience hallelujah Amen. is a supernatural experience that changes the lives of people that changes lives and situations I've tried to shorten it divine encounter a supernatural experience praise the name of the living God Amen. that changes lives and situations hallelujah Amen. it is a time when God comes to the situation he comes and take over it is a time when God comes and supernaturally turn around your situation what was meant for evil hallelujah Amen. it turns to be good for your life it doesn't matter what you have gone through it doesn't matter the report that you have received it doesn't matter of who has said what I am here to tell us by the grace of God things are turning around if you don't believe it you will remain there and you will see but are you remember Elijah, El so Elisha praise the name of the living God Amen. said tomorrow tomorrow hallelujah Amen. there will be enough food in the country and there he was a prophet of God and as a prophet of God I am here to tell you the things that were meant for Evil. they are being turned around the cry and the tears that you have cried for many years they are being turned around for your good in Jesus name amen and amen, amen. so one of the ways we experience divine uh, divine ex we, we experience divine encounter is when we pray and we fast like the way that we have been doing we have been praying and fasting and that is why today we, we are going to make declaration we are going to pray for our children we are not just going to receive you know, even our children will be partakers. Amen. Amen. Listen good. As we hear this message, write down and listen good. Write down at least five things. You can write ten. You can write twenty. But at least write five things. That you are believing God for a divine encounter in 20, beginning now and throughout this year. There are issues that have troubled you, there are challenges that you have gone through. But I want to tell you, write down as I preach. And after this, we are going to wave that paper unto the Lord. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. And that paper will be a remembrance of what God has done. You remember Jacob when he encountered, he had a divine encounter and he saw a ladder. Hallelujah. Amen. Angels were ascending and descending. After that, he said, he, the, I didn't know the presence of God was here. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. And after that, he took a stone and put it there and called it Bethel, a house of God. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. Another time, he went to another place and called it Peniel. The Lord has has been with me. So today, that would be your reminder of what God can do. That as a prophet of God, I don't come here to preach my word. I don't come here to preach my message. Hallelujah. Amen. You many, many times, God do so many miracles, but we rarely see 
But when you have a paper, you can tick. God has done this. God has done this. God has done this. God has done this. And he will do it all. In Jesus' name. So after, after you write, and after I preach the message, we will have a deep cry for divine encounter. So we are going to see how King Jehoshaphat, Jehoshaphat prayed and fasted and God supernaturally changed his situation. Open with me Second Chronicles uh, 20 and verse 1. Second Chronicles 20 and verse 1 in the name of Jesus hallelujah Amen. the Bible says after this hallelujah Amen. after this the Moabites and Ammonites with the some of the Munites came to wage war against Jehoshaphat. This is the time when King Jehoshaphat had chosen the Levites he had chosen priests he had also chosen heads of the Israelites he did well the kingdom business he was doing the right thing but after that after he did that there is something that happened hallelujah Amen. satanic trinity satanic trinity in form of Moabites Ammonites and Munites they gathered together to fight Jehoshaphat because he was the leader of Judah because most of the time the aim of the enemy is to attack the leader because when a leader is attacked he knows the country will be defeated initially uh, the other king was defeated. The king of Jerusalem. But by the grace of God. Jehoshaphat prevailed. Hallelujah. Amen. Satan. Shetani is not happy. Afrahi when we succeed. Tukifaulu. In life. Maishani. And also in the kingdom business. Lakira kia mambo ya kifalme. But I want to tell you, it doesn't matter. They will come in seven ways. In one, in seven ways. In one way. But they shall disappear in seven ways. What has been meant for evil for you? I decree beginning today. It shall turn for your good. In the name of Jesus. Why? Because the eyes of the Lord watches us. Verse 2. The Bible says, Some people came and told Jehoshaphat, A vast army is coming against you. From Edom. From the other side of the Dead Sea. It is already in Hezazon. Tamar that is uh, in Engedi. Tamari pale Engedi. Hallelujah. Is, em, amen. Hezekiah, Hezekiah is doing king bis, uh, do, uh, kingdom business. Not Hezekiah. Uh, jo, jo, uh, the, um, Jehoshaphat. Si bila, ila ni Jehoshaphat Yoshafati is doing kingdom business. Mambo ya Hallelujah. Amen. He is very busy. Sometimes you are at home. You are worshipping. You are praying. You are doing the right things. But you receive negative reports. I want to tell us. It is good. 
ni mzuri to trust God. Kuamini Mungu. Hallelujah. Amen. And there are good people. Na kuna watu wazuri. Who came with a good report. Ambao walikuja na habari nzuri. These were intercessors. Hao walikuwa waombezi. These were people. Hao walikuwa watu who had the ministry at heart. Hao walikuwa na huduma kwa moyo. Hallelujah. Amen. They didn't sit down. Hawakuketi. Hallelujah. Amen. To discuss about the weaknesses of Jehoshaphat. About the weaknesses of the ministry. Hallelujah. Amen. They went ahead and told him what was happening. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. So don't sit down if you are here and discuss issues of people. How you see how people are failing. How people are going through challenges. It is your position. Take your position. And pray for them. Take your position. And pray for the church. And if need it be. Go ahead and report what needs to be done. Enda na useme kile kinafaa kufanyika. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. So they came and reported uh, the impending danger. Wakakuja wakambi ile hatari ilikuwa imekaribia. Hallelujah. Amen. I want to ask us a question. Nataka kuuliza swali. This is Jehoshaphat. Uni He is faced with a challenge. Amepatana na changamoto. He don't know what to do. Ajui cha kufanya. I want to ask you what do you do Je, nini? when you are faced Ukipatana with a challenge in life? Na do you look for an alternative Je, njia mpa, uh, ndingi, ingine? or a help from someone? Ama kwa mtu. This week Ijuma, I was praying somewhere. Naomba mali. I went somewhere. And they came up from where I was. Climbed on a mountain. So I was half of the mountain. So I looked for a place to at least where I could pray. They walk around. And read the word. As I was praying. I was there for some days. As you are here from Monday. I was also in praying. As I was praying, three people came from up the mountain. They had also come to pray. As they were descending, near where I was, one of them, Akateresa. And in the process of falling, he said, that there were two men and one lady. So the lady said, My mom. So instead of calling God, because she is falling away, Mom. Mom is not there. The person came to pray. But when it comes to falling, instead of crying to God, and you are in his presence, you are calling to your mom. What will your mom do? Are we together? Then God taught me a lesson. There are times we look for alternatives. And those alternatives may not help us. But when our focus in God, God will always give us victory. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. So, what did Hezekiah do after he was told about the impending danger? Listen at verse 3. He said, Alarmed Jehoshaphat. Uh, uh, okay. Alarmed Jehoshaphat resolved to inquire of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. So when he heard about the danger, he did not call his mother. He did not call a meeting. He did not look for a solution. But he resolved in his heart. Mm. 
I want us church to resolve in our heart and focus on God. Whatever the situation, we will not look for a help somewhere. If God bring that help is okay. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. You will do your part. But what I know, when you focus on God, God will come. As he says in the book of Proverbs, horses are prepared for the war. But victory belongs to God. Victory belongs to you. Victory belongs to us. You are not going to die. You are going to live in the name of Jesus and proclaim the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. That, this, that sickness that you have. Hallelujah. Amen. It is going to God is going to terminate it. You are not going to suffer anymore. He has seen your cry and he will do it. The pain and tears that you have cried for years. You are asking God. Jehovah, where are you? It's a time to have a divine encounter with God. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible says, Alam Jehoshaphat resolved to inquire of the Lord. And he proclaimed a fast for all Judah. The people of Judah came together to seek help from the Lord. Indeed, they came from every town in Judah to seek the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. So so Jehoshaphat, Jehoshaphat, when he heard about the enemy, the Bible says nasema, he called the people watu, and told people, watu, This is a vast army. We are not able to confront them. This is a big challenge. Even, we call, even if we call other countries, mengine, they will not help us. Hallelujah. Amen. He said uh, Judah and Jerusalem we are going to fast we are going to pray until we encounter God until we encounter God you have been praying you have been fasting I am telling you if you did it faithfully no matter how you did it you did it from the bottom of your heart I am here to tell you you are going to encounter God in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. So in the process of fasting and praying, Jehoshaphat started praying. Hallelujah. Amen. Verse 5. Then Jehoshaphat stood up in the assembly of Judah and Jerusalem at the temple of the Lord and prayed like this. Hallelujah. Amen. He started praying, making declaration like we are going to decree today. He said, Oh God, you are God of all the heavens. Hallelujah. Amen. Jehovah. You are God of all the heavens. You rule over the kingdoms of nations. Even the nations that are attacking us. You rule them. Hallelujah. Amen. In other words, he started praising God. He started worshipping God. Telling him you are worthy. He said, all power and might Majesty belong to you and no one can withstand you. Hallelujah. Amen. Confession bring possession. He said Jehovah we may not have power but what we know praise the name of the living God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You are strong. You are powerful. Nobody will withstand you. So in other words, he was saying the Meunites, the Ammonites, and Moabites, they are not 
fighting us. They are fighting you. And that is the revelation we really get. Hallelujah. Amen. Get a revelation here. He is saying, Jehovah, this battle belongs to you. Amen. Amen. The problem when David, when the children of Israel, they were facing Goliath in the uh, for forty days, is because they relied on their army and relied on the lie of the devil. Goliath told them, "Choose among you." the best who can fight me because your army is not able to confront me and because of that they feared hallelujah Amen. but when David came he told them the army of the Lord you are fighting with the army of the Lord you are fighting with the army of the Lord and he was only one person. And he was saying, you have come to fight the army of God. That almighty God will, will, will fight you. And God defeated him. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. Let's get to know it is about God. And then he continued to pray. He started his prayer. He said, See the three enemies. They have combined forces to fight me. He is still praying. Hallelujah. Amen. And he said, We have no power to face this vast army. He is saying, It's not about ourselves. The challenge that you're going through, you'll not be able to do. The doctors have said there is no answer. You have prayed for a long time and there is no answer. Just rest the case to the hands of God. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. Because if you get bothered so much, you will get stressed for nothing. The problem with the believers is what they do, they go and pray and commit something to the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. And after that, when someone goes home, you start worrying. How will this solution come? And yet you prayed by faith. So you start counterattacking your faith. Hallelujah. Amen. If that if thoughts come, come your Tell your thoughts or tell your mind. The battle is not mine. I have committed everything unto God. Listen what they said. We do not know what to do. Hallelujah. Amen. But our eyes are on you. Hallelujah, church. Let's appreciate the Lord of law. Amen. We don't know what to do. As we face this vast army. But our eyes are not focusing on the problem. Our eyes are not focusing on the challenges. Our eyes are not focusing on the situation. Our eyes are focusing on you. Because you know, we know. Hallelujah. Amen. You are the creator of heaven and earth. And you rule all the nations. Hallelujah. Amen. This was a deep cry of desperation. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. After they reached to their dead end. What is your cry this morning? Some of you I like Jehoshaphat. It is your time to make a deep cry today and to God in Jesus name. Hallelujah. Amen. And I want to tell us God will always answer prayers. He answered Jehoshaphat prayer. Mm. The enemy came. The report came. He prayed and fasted. He prayed and make it, made the decree. The Lord came. Verse 14. The Bible says. The spirit of the Lord. 
the roho wa mungu came on upon came uh, came up uh, came on upon jahaziel ikamjaza jahaziel verse 15 15 he said akasema this is the spirit of the lord roho wa bwana listen king jehoshaphat sikia mfalme yoshafat hallelujah amen That was Jehoshaphat. I'm telling the church today. I'm telling every listener today. Listen. Skiza. To listen Kusikiza. is to have a hearing ear. Nikuwa na masikio ya kusikia. To hear the voice of God. Kusikia sauti ya Mungu. Believe it. Amini. And trust him. Na uamini. He said. Anasema. Listen King Jehoshaphat. Sikiza mfalme Yoshafat. And all who live in Judah. Na wote ambao wanaishi Yuda. And all Jerusalem. Na wote wakao Yerusalemu. This is what the Lord says to you. Hivi ndivyo Bwana asema kwenu. Hallelujah. Amen. Can you put that you yourself? Weka hiyo wewe hapo, weka jina. Hallelujah. Amen. This is what the Lord is saying to you. Kaberere, mention your name. Hivi ndivyo Bwana asema kwako. Or mention or, my, or mention my name. Or if you are not able to put yourself there you can uh, mention minister's name you can put minister Mwiti's name hallelujah amen this is what the lord says to kaberere i repeat it again this is what hallelujah this is what the lord says to you Do not be afraid Usiogope. or discouraged because of this vast army for the battle is not yours Mana vita sio vyako. but God's. Hallelujah. Amen. The battle is not yours. Church, the battle is not yours. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. You may have a vast army. Because of deaths. You may have a, a, a vast army. Because of challenges at home. You may have a vast army. Because of the situation. You look at your finances. You look at your bank account you look at your salary you look at where you are working you look at your business you look at your situation you have no job and then you wonder Jehovah 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 where will I go what will I do who will be on my side the Bible says the battle belongs to God vita ni vya Mungu and i hear a voice telling me what you have been going through god had allowed it for a purpose today is the day of your visitation the lord is taking over oh my god the lord is taking over in the name of jesus hallelujah amen there may be family disputes and life challenges listen verse 17 The Lord is still speaking. Mungu bado anazungumza. You will have not to uh, you will not have to fight this battle. Amtahitaji kupigana hizi vita. Take your position. Chukue nafasi yenu. Hallelujah. Amen. You will have not to fight what? Amtahitaji kupigana nini? Take what? Chukua nafasi. You remember the first message I pray I preached? Hallelujah. Amen. I preached on 1st of January. Tarehe moja ya January. Positioning kujiweka yourself for divine encounter positioning yourself kujiweka mwenyewe for divine encounter what you did this week kila ulifanya hii jumba part of the positioning yourself ilikuwa sehemu ya kujiweka mwenyewe prayer and fasting kuomba na kufunga praise the name of the living god amen praise the name of the living god amen he was told akaambiwa take your position chukua nafasi yako stand firm simama imara do not be afraid usiogope Hallelujah. Amen. The same words are in the book of Exodus chapter 14. Ya katika kitabu cha kutoka 14. Hallelujah. Amen. When the children of Israel they were going to cross the Red Sea. Wakati wana wa Israeli walikuwa wanakaribia kuvuka bahari ya Shamu. At the back 
The enemy was coming. Before them, there was a red sea. They did know what to do. God stood and said, Don't be afraid. Stand firm. We serve the God of yesterday, the God of today, and the God of forever. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. Let's appreciate the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings. In the name of Jesus, I am here to tell you some of you. Some of your children have been called to secondary school. And some of you, you have no money. These children, they will go on. Wataendelea. Watasoma. Praise the name of the living God. Some of you, probably children didn't do very well. But I want to tell you, don't stick at the negative. There is something that God wants to do in your life. Even through your child. In the name of Jesus, if you have a sick child, that child will be completely healed. If you are in a dilemma, God is coming through in Jesus' name. He said, do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. Go out to face them tomorrow. And the Lord will be with you. And the Lord will be with you. You are not alone. In other words, if there is a step you are supposed to do, opening a business, go and go ahead and open it. You are not opening alone. You are with the Lord. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. If you are going to ask to look for a school, praise the name of the living God. Amen. Go by faith. You are not going alone. You are going together with God. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. You are blessed forever. May the grace of God be upon your lives. In the name of Jesus. It's good to have faith in God and also his prophets. Amen. Amen. Have faith in who? This was the response of Jehoshaphat. Early in the morning, verse 20. They left for the desert of Te Tekoa. As they set out, Jehoshaphat stood and said, Listen to me, Judah, and the people of Jerusalem. Have faith in God, in the Lord your God, and you will be upheld. Have faith in his prophets, and you will succeed. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. A message had come through a servant that said this is the victory. That message belonged to God. He is saying the message that we have, we have received let's believe it. Hallelujah. Amen. What God has said let us believe it and we shall succeed. You will succeed in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. <laughs> now, Sasa, they are going to face the army. Waenda kupigana na jeshi. Jehoshaphat, Yoshafati, the king of Judah, mfalme wa Yuda, he tells the army, anaambia jeshi, remain behind. Bakini nyuma. Choir members, wana wa choir, worship us. Wana wa kuabudu. Come ahead. Endeni mbele. Hallelujah. In other words, you must put God first. Hallelujah. Amen. They are going to the battle. But they are saying, it is not about us. What we are supposed to do is just to sing and worship God. That is why we need to worship God in this house. Some of you, if you come late by the time we are praying and worshipping it could be your time of visitation praise the name of the living God Amen. hallelujah Amen. so the choir was there Hallelujah. Amen. The choir was there. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. So the choir was here. 
And the army was behind. And they started singing. They started worshipping. And they are going to face the enemy. They are going to a valley. Where the enemy is. They can see their enemies. But they are still worshipping God. You may see your problems. You can see your challenges. But still keep on praising God. Keep on praising God. They started moving. Don't give up, brother. Don't give up, sister. Keep on moving. It is not easy. There are challenges. But you have pain. You are crying. Even if you are crying, cry when you are still worshipping God. Tell him it's not about me. It is about you, Jehovah. I have waited for you for many years. Yes, you have waited for God for many years. There is a purpose. And when the purpose will be revealed, you will have time also to say Jehovah, Jehovah I want to worship you again Hallelujah Amen. So they went worshipping 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 The army following Hallelujah Amen. Follow God Praise the name of the living God Amen let God be, uh, be at, uh, in front and let him lead you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. Hmm. Listen to this. Verse 22. As they began to sing and praise. Hallelujah. Amen. As they began to what? As they began to sing and praise. The Lord sent ambushes against the men of Ammon. Moab and Mount Seir who were invading Judah and they were all defeated. Let's appreciate God. They started singing going to the valley and as they, as they were singing the Bible says the almighty God came down himself came down himself and the armies were defeated. How are they defeated? Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah, yeah. Now, while he was a queen, but I could see who Bona Akaweka, uh, Wavizia or Juya Wana Wamoni, now Maobu, Mao Maobu, now Mulima Waseiri, while your Kuja Juya Yuda, now Waka Pigua. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. Hallelujah. Verse Amen. 23. Mr. Shinatana Sema, Kwani Wana Wamoni, now Moabu. Listen, listen carefully. Ah. Uh, Kwani wana wa Amoni na wa Moabu waliondokea wenyewe uh, wa mlima wa Seiri kuwaulia uh, kuwa mbali na kuwaharibu nao walipokwisha kuwakomesha hao wakao Seiri wakajitia kuharibu kila mtu na mwenziwe wakasaidiana kumalizana mm. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. The Bible says there were three armies. The satanic trinity. And the Bible says this satanic trinity what happened two of them started fighting others. Mm. So when, when they killed all of them the two Moab and Ammon, they started fighting each other. And the Bible says they helped to kill one another. Why? They were saying, You cannot go there. These are people of God. We can see God there. God came. God came down and brought confusion in the army of the, in, in the confusion. May the Almighty God bring confusion. In every camp that has been against you, in the name of Jesus, for our God is well able. Let Him bring confusion in the army that have been trying to fight your family. Let Him bring confusion where the, the, the enemy that have been trying to fight your life. You want to move on, but the spirit of the devil is against.
finish you. May the Almighty God release his armies, bring confusion, let divine encounter come down in the name of Jesus. Oh, in the name of Jesus, some of you have negative life patterns that has affected you for life. Today is your day. Today is your day. Every negative life pattern, even for your children, even for your family, will be defeated by the blood of Jesus. If he did it to Joshua, he will do it to you. If he did it to Jehoshaphat, he will do it to you. If he did it to Daniel, he will do it to you. If he did it even in the New Testament, he will do it to you in Jesus' name. Let's appreciate the Lord of Lords. Your day of victory is today. Church, I'm saying the day of victory is today. Today is a day to shout. Today is a day to sing. As you receive your victory. Listen to this. Verse 24. When the men of Judah came to the place of over, overlooking the desert and looked toward the vast army they saw only dead bodies lying on the ground. No one escaped. Mm -mm. No disease will, will escape and touch your child. It must die in the name of Jesus. Nothing that has affected your life will be able to escape and challenge someone else from today. It will be terminated in the name of Jesus. Because my God, my God, my God is well able. If he did that in the past, he will do it today. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. As they were going, they looked at the valley. Probably they expected to see still the army is there. But they say, so everybody was sleeping. They were dead. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible says they went down. And as they went down, hallelujah. Amen. They saw all people are dead. And when they were dead, the Bible says, Hallelujah. Amen. In that valley, they collected good, valuable goods. Hallelujah. Amen. There was gold. There was silver. There were chariots. Chariots of war. Everything that they needed. The Bible says it took them three days. Yeah. Which was meant for their evil. Hallelujah. Amen. The chariots were coming to fight them. The swords were coming to fight them. The food were, they were carrying food to eat to ensure that they fight them. But when an encounter came, hallelujah, when an encounter came, everything turned around. What meant for evil in the name of Jesus, it was it was, it was meant for their, for, for their goodness. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. It is going to happen to you today. It is going to happen to you today. I mean it is going to happen to you. It is going to happen to you. It is going to happen to you. Church is going to happen to you. Listen us on, on, online. It is going to happen to you. For my God is well able. It is going to happen to you. Those at the back, can you say amen? At the back, can you say amen? At the back, can you say amen? Hallelujah! Amen. Those at the balcony, can you say amen? Hallelujah! Amen. Those on that side, can you say amen? amen. Praise the name of the living God! Amen. Let's appreciate.
share the Lord of Lord in the name of Jesus by faith by faith we confess that all things are possible are possible hallelujah there are people you don't see but I can see them at the balcony There are people you cannot see. And because I have faith in God, there are people I can see this side. Hallelujah. Amen. I can see our land. In the name of Jesus, I can see the mega city for world evangelism to the glory of God with the five great pillars in that place. Why? It is not about Kaberere. It is not about us. It is about the Lord of Lords, the King of Kings. Hallelujah. Amen. When they were leaving, the Bible says they called that valley the valley of Bereka Beraka. Hallelujah. Amen. The valley of Beraka. On the fourth day, they assembled in the valley of Beraka. Where they praised the Lord. This is why it is called the, va the valley of Beraka. To this day. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. The valley you have been. The pit that you have been. Hallelujah. Amen. You know. Najua. Joseph, not Joseph. Yeah. Joseph, uh, uh, Joseph was taken in a pit. But he did not remain in a pit. Because he was blessed of God. So wherever that you have been and the situation, it is gonna turn around for your good. 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 It is gonna turn around for my good. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh God, turn our valleys, turn our challenges. Into a blessing, the valley of Baraka. We receive it today. No more fight in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible says that they rejoiced. And the verse 30 says that the kingdom of Jehoshaphat was at peace for his God had given the had had given him rest on every side hallelujah Amen. When God comes, Mungu akija, he gives you rest. When God amen. comes, akija, when you encounter God, Mungu, oh hallelujah, amen. there is peace. Kuna amani. Nothing lacking, nothing broken. Kosa Praise the name of the living God. Amen. And King Jehoshaphat Na was at peace for his God. Mungu wake, not another person had given him rest on every side. May the Almighty God, the Creator of heaven and earth, give you rest in the name of Jesus. When you, when you encounter God, hallelujah, Amen. everything will change around. As I wind up, I want to tell us, God uses challenges to help you experience divine encounter. God uses challenges to help you experience divine encounter. The way we have seen Jehoshaphat did. The second point is sing and worship, singing and worship to God. So sing and worship God in season and out of season. Sing and worship God in, 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 in season and out of season. Jehoshaphat and, the, um, uh, and, and his people they sang when they were facing the enemy. They, were, they sang when they were facing the enemy. They sang after defeating the enemy. And even after that, they went home rejoicing with a testimony and singing and shouting unto God. As we come out of this service, worship God because you are coming out of this place with a testimony. I decree you will encounter 
deliverance divine grace in the middle of your challenges as i finish quickly habakkuk 32 tafadhali habakkuk 2 habakkuk 32 habakkuk 2 and verse uh, uh, nlt tafsiri ya nlt i'm not preaching just want to read this scripture habakkuk said um, <coughs> said habakkuk akasema nlt tafsiri ya nlt I have heard all about you oh God. Nimesikia yote kuhusu wewe Mungu. Are we together? Pamoja. He is saying I have heard about what? Sema nimesikia kuhusu nini? Have you heard about miracles? Ye umesikia kuhusu miujiza? Praise the name of the living God. Amen. I have heard about you oh God. Nimesikia kuhusu wewe Mungu. I am filled with the awe by your amazing works. Nimeshangazwa na ile matendo yako maajabu. In this time, katika hii wakati of our deep need help us again tusaidie tena as you did in the years gone vile ulifanya miaka iliyopita and in your anger remember mercy na kwa ghadhabu yako kumbuka rehema hallelujah amen he is saying god you we have testimonies of what you did with others but in our days do it again and also job said in job 45 my ears had heard of you my ears had heard of you but now my eyes have seen you praise the name of the living god amen have seen you praise the name of the living god amen They saw how probably you have heard you heard about Moses. Umesikia kuhusu Musa? Have you heard about the parting of Red Sea? Umesikia kuhusu kunyika wa bahari ya Atlantic? That is the past. Hiyo ni imepita. Have you heard about Jacob? Umesikia kuhusu Jacob? When he encountered and wrestled with God? Alipokutana na Mungu. And God changed his name? Mungu akabadilisha jina lake. That was the past. Hiyo imepita. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. Have you heard about a lady? in the new testament who was sick for 18 years she was bent for 18 years but when jesus arrived he called her from the crowd and she was made whole that was a testimony praise the name of the living god amen it is your time it is your time to get your testimony to get your testimony hallelujah let's stand up Let's stand up. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You want to take a short time. You have your paper. For those who come, came late. I said you write a paper. Five things. Or more than five. Of the things that you want God to do. In the name of Jesus. And as we pray. You are free to come here if you want. But I'm going to make declaration. That God is releasing a divine encounter over your life. In the name of Jesus. If you are not written them, write them. And let also the worship team come here. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh hallelujah. Rika tarama ma shanda rababo. Rika yandere rababa shandere rababa zakayanda. Jesus Christ you are the Lord of Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You will wave those papers unto the Lord. Hallelujah. If you have written them in your phone or in your book. Hallelujah. Amen. Or you are writing them. I want you to raise up your hand and show them to God. Just show them to God. Just show them to God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. As you raise up your hand, make a deep cry. Make a deep cry from the bottom of your heart and ask God for fresh divine encounter in the name of Jesus that he may see your need that he may see your life O Jehovah and let God come to your situation to your life in the name of Jesus present every need to God it could be pain it could be children it could be your business it could be decreased you start decreeing right now in the name of Jesus everyone start praying now everyone start praying now and committing all things unto God mentioning them to God
in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. If it is your family, commit it unto God. If it is your children, commit them unto God. Supernatural things are going to happen. There are great things that are going to happen. Tutafurika na testimonies hapa pahali. In the name of Jesus. Beginning now in the name of Jesus. Eora katarababa shandaraba. Rekebe zekebe shandaraba borianda. Jehovah, Jehovah. Oh God, oh God. Jehovah, oh God. Rakebe sakayanda. Hear our cry. Hear our cry. Hear our cry. Hear our deep cry. We want an encounter with you. We want an we want encounters, oh God. We want many encounters. Begin this year and beyond. In the name of Jesus. Divine encounters. In the name of Jesus. Rekebe se kayandaraba. Rekandere na mama shendere na baboria. Rekayandere na mama shantaraba. Jehovah, take over in the name of Jesus. I also commit the alarming to the my God. You very go and also be true. Jehovah, take over in the name of Jesus. Church pray, church pray. You are praying to the living God. If Jehoshaphat prayed and he encountered God, you are going to encounter God. Mention everything before God. And after mentioning, tell God, I need an encounter with you. Oh Jehovah, divine encounter. Come into my life in the name of Jesus. Rekatarababa Shandara. Rekandere Rabanda. Rekayarababo. Rekarababa Shandarabanda. Rekayarababo. Rekayarababa Shandere Rabanda. Rekambo Koto Yarababoria. Rekayarababa Shindarababo. Rekayaraba Koriaba. Kuriba Sandarababoria. Jesus, Jesus, take over. Jesus, Jesus, take over. Holy Spirit, take over. God the Father, take over. Take over, Jehovah. Jehovah. Take over Jehovah. We are raising our hands. We are raising our needs. We are raising everything Jehovah. And to you Jehovah. Oh God. We decree a divine encounter. You have done it in the past. A time has come for us to experience your glory Jehovah. Release your divine visitation. Release your divine visitation. Holy Katara. In the name of Jesus, where the enemy has come like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord is raising a standard against in the name of Jesus. No weapon formed against you will be able to prosper. I condemn every spirit. I condemn every tongue in the name of Jesus that has risen against you. May you have victory. Every evil that was planned against you beginning now beginning now is turning for good there is a turn around there is a turn around in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in 2023 and beyond you will experience in the name of jesus 
divine encounter as God steps in to your situation to your situation we thank you Jehovah we glorify your name Jehovah in the name of Jesus, 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 oh God, have your way, step into our lives, step into our situation, fight our battles, for with you, all things are possible, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. 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 Have your way, Jehovah. Father, we have your way, Jehovah. Oh, Rakaba Shakayanda. Rekebe Sekere Ramamanda Rababo. Rekayande Ramama Shakayaraba. Rekayara Mama Sekayara Mama. Rekayara Mama Kantarababo. Rekere Rama Sekere Randa. Rekayara Baba Shantarababo. Rekayanda Rababa Shantarababoria. Rekante Ramama Shendere Rababoria. Rekayanda Rababa. Touch your people now. 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 There's power in your heart. There's power. The power of God is going around. The spirit of God is moving. The spirit of God is moving. The spirit of God is moving. The spirit of God is moving into your family, into your heart, into your situation. Yes, yes, yes. There is a miracle taking place right now. There is a miracle taking place right now. There is someone who has been set free. Someone has been set free. Someone has been test free. In the name of Jesus, there is deliverance that is taking place now. There is deliverance that is taking place now. You are being delivered. Be delivered now. Be delivered now. Now, spirit of the enemy, you have troubled your people for many years. I cast you out in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The glory of God is here. The glory of God is here. The glory of God is here. The anointing of God. The Shekinah glory. The Shekinah glory. The Shekinah glory. The anointing is flowing this place. I can see that anointing flowing into our lives. Flowing into our lives. Flowing into our lives. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. There is a divine change. There is a divine encounter that is taking place now. Have your way, Jehovah. 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 Have your way. Have your way. Have your way. Have your way. Take over. Take over. Take over. Rekata Ramama Shandarababa. Rekere Ramama Shandarababu. Rekayanda Ramama Shantarababu. Rekaya Ramama Kantaraba. Rekaya Ramama Kantarababa Kanta. In the name of Jesus, raise those papers to me. And now, tell God. I am the raising this paper to you. Jehovah. 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 If you feel like coming here, you can come. If you want to stay where you are, it's okay. But what I know, there is a miracle. God's encounter is here. The power and the glory of God is here. The anointing of God is here in a mighty way. In the name of Jesus. 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 Name of Jesus, commit from this altar. This altar speaker, it is the altar of God. I am a servant of God, and I speak according to His word. In the name of Jesus, Jehovah, we are crying. We are crying. We have been crying, Jehovah, for a fresh divine encounter in our lives. Jehovah, we have had it in the past, but our moment has come. Beginning now, beginning now, we are having a new 
your testimony. You have come, Jehovah. You have come, Jehovah. Mention your name. Say, I. I. Mention your name. Again, I. This moment. This very hour. I receive by faith divine encounter Jehovah I commit these needs unto you I commit these papers they are turning around into testimonies beginning now and throughout the year I will continue to, con to encounter God and Jehovah I want to thank you by faith I receive my answer my answer by faith I receive my answer in the name of Jesus I receive divine encounter Hora, when the enemy what was meant for evil God has turned it around in the name of Jesus as we pray let's pray for Mrs. Deacon Mwiti whose brother who has had an accident and he has been taken to Kenyatta National Hospital in the name of Jesus Father Lord wherever he is may he encounter let it be a testimony despite it is a head injury Father I pray that you may have your way may you heal him may you heal him we speak healing in the name of Jesus doctors may have reports but we take your report in the name of Jesus. If there is any other child, a family member, or in me in our midst of the family, God we decree they are healed in the name of Jesus. If they are children that have not been excelling in education, we pray for them in the name of Jesus. We decree the blessings of God, the Father, and the Holy Spirit. We decree Jehovah that your people have received a divine encounter and throughout this year we will have many encounters many encounters many encounters in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus what was meant for evil I want you to sing from the bottom of your heart believing trusting whatever was meant for evil in your life beginning now beginning now is turning around is turning around for your good in the name of Jesus we pray and decree amen and amen let's appreciate the Lord of love